Power is sometimes a commodity we take for granted, but for people that I spoke to here at this location, they say they need electricity to keep their medical equipment going. They say without it, they wouldn't be able to survive. Power lines knocked over, AC units out of service, and people desperate to plug in their medical equipment. A powerful storm leaving Bullhead City in a critical state on Monday. I uh, slept in my car so I could charge this in my car, otherwise I don't breathe. Cheryl Peterson lives in Hancock in Bullhead City, Arizona. With her power out since 6.30 Sunday night, she had to use her car to keep her oxygen tank charged. Well, my oxygen levels would drop really low and I would probably have a stroke. As soon as she found out a cooling station was open, Peterson rushed here to Sunrise Elementary School with only four hours of sleep and a tank that was almost out of battery. It's crazy. I, I don't understand it. Sunday evening strong windstorm is what knocked over more than 50 power line poles just like this one right here on Bullhead Parkway. Officials are saying that that's what contributed and what led to the power outage of more than 36,000 residents here in the area. Bullhead City spokesperson Mackenzie Covert says this isn't the first time something like this has happened. It's always due to weather, it's always due to something. I think the last time was maybe three or four years ago we had a power outage this bad. It's not our first rodeo. We know how to handle this situation and we're handling it. I, I don't understand it. How a community that is so well known for large gusts of wind and high winds doesn't have an infrastructure designed for that. There are many like Peterson who rely on power significantly. My nephew has a G tube feeding only through the stomach, so when that is dead, you have to charge it. We don't have no electricity. Denise Carrillo is now going on almost 24 hours without power. Her nephew needs this machine to help him eat. Definitely not hard. We wanted to spend our Labor Day weekend. I could tell you that. But I mean, thankful for Sunrise Elementary to have this here. Mojave Electric Cooperative spokesperson says they're hoping to fully restore power to everyone by later this evening or even until tomorrow morning. Bullhead City is asking everyone to continue to conserve water during this water outage until power is fully restored. I'm Abel Garcia reporting from Bullhead City.